TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida, at 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. It's Fed Day, of course. We got an announcement coming at 2 p.m., and it looks like a mixed market to start things off. You got the Dow futures negative by 48 points, trading at 24,023. S&P futures minus three points, trading at 2649. And the NASDAQ currently positive by three points, trading at 66.95. So to start things off, last night you had Apple coming out with their earnings, 4.30 Eastern Time, and de they delivered for sure. So we'll jump over to their chart in a moment, but Apple shares soaring after the company on Tuesday reported better than expected earnings and revenue for the quarter. Apple iPhone sales were slightly less than expected, but quite a number for sure. And let's just jump over, start things off. AAPL, whoops, AAPL, Apple. So there you go. Yesterday closed at 169.10. Pretty remarkable move, spikes up to 178, pulling back a bit this morning, but still up about $6. The expected move yesterday before earnings was just under $7, and it looks like that number is gonna come pretty close to fruition. Apple currently trading 175.27. Let's jump back to that Nadex platform, start things off with the Dow 30, currently trading 24,033, jumping over to the NASDAQ. And that's where you're gonna see, let's back this up to last night. There's some volatility on the Apple earnings, 430. You have the NASDAQ jumping from 66.92 all the way to 67.38, currently right at 6,700. And of course, today being Wednesday, jumping around some commodities, crude oil, we're gonna get the EIA numbers coming out at 10.30 Eastern time. I'll be on there live with Tom for those. Oil spiking above 67.80 this morning before pulling back a bit, currently trading 67.33. And as we wrap this up, let's see how Bitcoin is doing this morning. There's our Bitcoin weekly spreads, pull up the chart just above 9,000. We have Bitcoin, quite a little appreciation, little volatility, pulling back a bit as we speak. Bitcoin currently trading 9,058. Should be an interesting day, Fed day. We'll get an announcement right at 2 p.m. and we'll see no rate hike expected, but it will be interesting to see the language they say in terms of forecasting rate hikes to come. Stay tuned, Larry Pesvento coming up at 9 a.m. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. We'll have those EIA numbers. And then, of course, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Fed Day, we'll see what they have to say. Have a great day, everybody.